Time to return to Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe, who, as we know, is a an age away. All the way there. Well, well, let's go see all the interesting stuff along the way. Not yeah, there's a... I put down a custom waypoint. Let's delete that and let's first look at the question mark that's immediately to our left. It do be making some questions. It oh, it's a bedroll! That's Ooh. exciting! Or it's a... Uh, um... Uh, it's nothing. I mean, the the question mark this bit is like you've just you've just got oh, an interact prompt. Take an enter insulator serum. Cool. I'm, I'm, I I'm. Mm, that gives cool. forty percent lightning resistance for forty five seconds. Lightning resistance. I need game resistance. Uh. We can't craft Koa Spears, but we do have one now. Oh, those are the things that shoot lightning, I think. So, are those things on the map just gonna be... Oh, we found another Entech injection. This time it's Coriel Coating. Oh, well, hang on. There's another one here, but picking it up is kind of... It's, uh... it's, on, a, it's on a coffee table. It's hard to pick it up. No, we just... We just can't handle whatever this is. We don't have the identify drug spell. Return to Uncle Joe. Is that really all the question marks are going to be? That's fucking bogus. Yeah, it's kind of boring if we're all our question marks. Well, I mean, there are also green exclamation marks. I think those are more interesting, so we should go find look at one. Yeah. All right, well, there was one uh, back. Ah, oh, it's gone now. Oh, maybe those are the events. So like, let's go, let's so go like, there. So they like just appear randomly whenever uh whenever there's a quest like happening. Whenever like, there's like, some horse shit you oh, wanna do. Oh god damn it, those are war pigs. Well we can escape them. For now. Uh, we can escape anything. Despite our lack of sprint speed and our lack of in with the fucking Hawaiians. I can't believe these Hawaiians are just gonna kill these random people. I thought we were Hawaiian. Are we? Are we like this? Uh, I think we're like we come from the Islanders. Is that a pig? Yeah, it's a boar, but we—it's just a boring old boar, a boar boar. I think we come from the Islanders, and I'm still unsure what the difference would be between Islander and Hawaiians. Are Hawaiians more? Savage? Hawaiian? Um, I don't know. Have they have they just reverted to a tribal like state in the face of the apocalypse and they're just literally throwing spears and threatening to kill people for stealing their key? I don't whatever it is, Nick. I don't like it. It's a complex issue. No, it's not. It's a video game. Video games are filled with complex issues. Oh, good. I don't, know. I don't know, Snake. The most complex game that came out last year was apparently Death Stranding, and that was just about deliveries. It was just about... Yeah, there was no deeper themes whatsoever. Now that Death Stranding is out, we can talk about this. Like, I can't believe that was just a game about FedEx and Brexit. It was just... It was about Brexit and delivery. Delivering Brexit. I mean, I think it was the opposite of delivering Brexit. <laughs> it was how do we stop Brexit via deliveries? And at the end, Sam Bridges, Norman Reedus, just turned to the camera and just shrugged his shoulders. And I thought, you've been a bit on the nose here, Kojima. And especially that part when he talks about the hard border in Northern Ireland, in Ireland, I just thought, Kojima, is... go back to nukes. You say that, Snake. But come Brexit, you will be out there in your in your in your in your fucking exoskeleton suit, running around carrying I don't know what 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 is a British delicacy? Curry. I don't know sausage rolls. <laughs> Curry. <laughs> I just I can't believe when Brexit happens, I'm gonna be trudging through the mud in the swamp of London, just delivering a chicken tikka masala <laughs> across the crashed wilderness. Hoping that I'll be paid in likes. 
the hell's going on over there? Oh dear, the horizon is clipping. I mean, Snake, you are a content provider, so aren't you already being paid in likes? Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I, I have to go to the shops and they just set, you know, cash or credit likes and they take away some likes from me. So if you could like, comment and subscribe um, to this video that you're watching right now, that's get me a coffee, maybe a, one of those sausage rolls. I assume the world of Death Stranding is very socialist, because you only get likes, but Sam is always eating and drinking. I guess mostly drinking. <laughs> yeah, you just eat bugs. And he gets so them- It's also a scathing critique of socialism, because you just have monster energy and bugs. Yeah, I'm not sure but, which is but more they disgusting. are free. And he can get them wherever he wants. It's about the pioneer spirit that if you really wanted food, you could have gone, oh, we can... Oh, God, this is a complex issue. Hawaiians versus lava dogs. Who, who's the hostage, though? I don't know. Oh, the Hawaiians have got the lava dogs hostage. Hey, guys. Oh, God! You just got fucking killed for out of nowhere. One spear did it. Those Hawaiians are dangerous. We picked a bad enemy. Well, I say picked. Well, yeah, we did. You denied doing one thing for the Hawaiians because their terms were bullshit. And apparently, now we have to s side with the people who uh. kidnapped our child. Oh my fucking god. You gotta this be kidding a... me. This is whack. This, this is, is a bull. Travesty. This is bullshit. This is ho absolute horse crap. Oh, I, I had noticed that little button before. What? What? What did I do? Note recovered. So it was more interesting that I got a note and I pressed the little button and... It's my note. Journal. Entech injectors come... Oh, it's how to fucking make Entech injectors. Oh, because there's a Megan. bunch of them there. When I I th I guess it's good we died, Snake, so we could discover that the question marks are more useful, apparently, oh. a little bit. Exciting stuff. Let's go back and hope we don't die this time. So what do we have to do to make the Hawaiians like be okay with us, so that we're they're not gonna kill us? I I guess help them fifty fucking times. I mean, how are we gonna be able to help them if we go there and it's like a hostage situation? They're like, here's a fucking... Uh, what was the... Like, one of them was the Hog Raiders, wasn't it? Yeah, Hog Raiders. Like, Hog Raiders are the always enemy faction, so we just kind of have to hope consistently that we run into situations where, oh, good, the Hog Raiders are killing the Hawaiians again. I am allowed to just earn some points here. Because otherwise, we're just fucking done. I mean, even then, we're done. Because we're not going to deal with these people 50... We're not going to help them 50 times. What the fuck? <laughs> Mahalo. Mahalo. I hope it auto-saved off. No, I hope it doesn't. Because I died instantly. And we're just fucked then. That's a whole save file gone. If it auto-saved after him. We're just... Or I'm just going to hammer the one key. We'll see. After this extraordinarily long loading screen, whether we have caused a save death loop. I mean, maybe if it has caused a loop, it won't kill us now. Maybe. I mean... Maybe. This game, yeah, the seed of getting shot has not been planted this time. Let's see if he was important enough to incur an autosave. He was. And it's despawned everyone. That's pretty nice. Yeah, you know, I'll take it. Not gonna lie, that's pretty nice. I love waking up from death and everyone's gone. You need your time after that to just be by yourself. Hog Raiders and... Uh, the Research Institute. They don't need my help. They've got laser guns. Like, what am I adding here? Well, those laser guns aren't going to do any damage, I guess. Yeah, they're not uh. going to... Those laser guns aren't going to do anything. But your gun does. I think someone's coming at you. Maybe. I'm, oh, I'm just going to concern myself with this crap. My word. Yeah, I, uh, 
Maybe I should let one of the research institute. No, it's not like they actually drop their guns. What am I? What am I pretending would happen here? You would get a really nice laser gun handle. <laughs> True. I can whack that one, and maybe I'll start firing lasers anyway somehow. Oh, an automatic level two. Hang on a second, dear. So these are automatic level ones. Like, fuck this. Let's take these mods off. What do I mean, take these mods off? Like, I could fucking do that. Oh, I can. Nice. Get these back. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't need any of this crap. These are all. Le this is level one garbage. I don't want level one garbage when I can have level two garbage. Let's, you know, it might be. I might start doing six damage. You know, ever since we killed the Hawaiians and our standing went down, we might actually be joining Lava Dogs and Mendoza's. Not my first choice, but you gotta take what you can get right now. Oh yeah, those stats, that's meaningful stuff right there. I understand what I've done. I mean, it's pretty nice that we started off this new session with a bright plan to join the Hawaiians so we could turn no. into, or not even turn into, just, just so we could <laughs> walk faster. And we, the first <laughs> thing we do is just to fuck that plan up. I think, let's take away from this the most positive thing we can, Noonan, which is we were hoping to join the Hawaiians for selfish reasons. We deserved this. We weren't joining them out of any ideological truth. It was just, we want to run faster, and that's dishonest. So, for our hubris, for our sins, we have to hang out with Mendoza. Honestly, had it coming. I think a good gameplay plan, Snake, would be to talk to everyone you see. Because <laughs> we don't want our save state to be on the other side of the island. It's really good. It's, you know in video game design they talk about risk and reward? The reward is a save. The risk is they'll talk for a very long time. They might just say mahalo, but they might go on a fucking ramble about- Jesus fucking Christ, it's just a small cliff. I can navigate this. He can navigate this. Yeah, but he has four feet. Alright, let's see what this level two business is about. 40 damage? It's pretty good. I mean, I think that's pretty good. We're gonna have to- let's equip a level 1 after this, if I still have one and shoot, and we'll- we'll be scientific. Oh, you've been rubbing your elbows with the wrong crowd, huh? The scientists? The Research Institute, I think you'll find, and they're my friends, and they have laser guns, and they're cool. They listen to techno. And unlike the lava dogs, Mendoza doesn't work for them. She's a bad influence. I wonder if, like, every faction has, like, a bad quality to them. So, like, for the islanders, or the Hawaiians, rather, they'll lock these people up and kill them unless you do a fetch quest. So, and um, uh, the lava dogs have Mendoza. <laughs> The scientists, I think that's equally uh, terrible. <laughs> so the researchers, they also had to have something. It, I wanted to be like extremely fucked up. They're like, I don't know. They experiment on children. Yeah, the children are our children are actually there. That the laser guns are powered by child souls. Honestly, makes sense is about anything. The fuck was that? That was a hog raider attacking a dog, I think, and now he's scrambling to kill me. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I Hopefully think I'm climbing their mountain. Hopefully he's as shit as climbing the fucking mountains as Kai is. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm giving up on this plan. I think let's just go around. I'm very stubborn, but even though I know I'm not making much Oh wait, progress that's a researcher. Here. What are they doing? Oh. Researching. What happens <laughs> when I shoot this guy? Answer, nothing. Alright. Oh goodness, you've got a face mask. Yeah! 
Remember that How's guy? Remember that guy who we fought that could teleport and he like... Yeah, we sent him to the Never Realm. Oh god. No! No! <laughs> he's over here! Do you think he's still, like, following us around? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just laughing from the afterlife. I'm not even sure if I'm going out the afterlife. It's after something. Post teleport life. Well, we it's a good thing we talked to that person. Alright. Let's um learn from last time. Yes, yeah, the Coco Head Bunkers. What's that then? It's a custom waypoint. Good. Uh, what's this? It's a Coco Crater Equestrian Ooh, Center. Center! That's All pretty right, dope. Fuck that. We're Not that gonna way. lie, that's pretty dope. Horses, horses, Let's and horse go. girls. Horses can climb cliffs. What if it's just the conglomeration, conglomeration of horse girls, Snake? And they're like, if we can ride them, I'll take it. I'll be slightly uncomfortable through the game, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Depends how it goes. Ow. Fucking. No. It only makes sense that most bronies are guys. You know? Because, like, if a girl gets into ponies and horses, like, a girl gets into ponies, and at some point, I guess they'll start caring about real horses. Yeah, that's true. A lot, I don't think a lot of bronies went on to be equestrians. Yeah, they'd be like, I don't care about these. I love my... I'll, I'll like my cute cartoon animals. That's what I care about. But like, a, a girl watches a My Little Pony is like... She, she, she'll become like enthralled in the life of horses and ponies. It's in somewhere in Italy fucking with wild ponies. I guess one is more emotionally damaging, the other is more financially damaging. True. And when I said fucking with horses, I didn't mean it for real! Fucking in this in general term. Like I'm fucking with Catan. Cause... I'd be playing Catan. Not cause I'm You've been playing fucking a board game! Catan. Oh god. He's over here. I know, I'm in the middle of an open field, you don't have to announce how fucked I am. I think you can do this. Yeah, I think I can get away with this, maybe. Like the bronies and the horse girl snake, you've you've gotten involved in video games, and henceforth you can point and click at a dude's head to make it blow up. It's really good. Alright. Oh that... right. Oh and I got my and I got another automatic, level two. I can't be bothered to do all the equip stuff. I think I ah. guess you can't be bothered. I, I guess. Yeah, I've still... Um... Oh, that's a level 2 all mag. No, I still got that equipped. Um, if I destroy it, do I get some stuff? Probably not. <laughs> but it's too late now. I don't... Why don't I'm not just... attached. Why don't you just destroy that one... Okay. Never mind, I guess. I'm... You know. I live a very, very uh, transient existence. I just have the moment, and the moment's gone. And so is that gun. The moment is gone, Snake. The moment for this commentary. Ayo, join us for the next part. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm looking at the times right now. It is possible to end the part there. Upgrade resource <laughs> capacity. Yeah, no, it's not a bad point, actually. Oh, yeah, now we can hold 20 of everything. That's exciting. Oh, uh, we need one more lever and then we could upgrade it again. We could have all this crafting bullshit just more on tap than ever before. I'm going to talk to you and save. Stay right there. Mahalo. Yep, thanks for the save. It feels empty now that I know that saves. I mean, I knew it before, but now I'm really realizing and making use of that. It feels hollow because they're thanking me, but I'm using them, you know? I mean, Snake, it's true in real life, too. Saving is a memory thing, and when you talk with people, you ingrain them yourself in their memories. That's true. Alright, good. One lever. Bang. Bang Tru on the dot. Truly, Age of Oahu has gamified real life. That's a horse. <laughs> Sorry for the obvious commentary there. I know it's meant to be, when you're doing commentary, it's a tip. You don't just say what's on screen, you, you give you give it a point, but sometimes you just gotta look at it and just say what you feel. And I feel that's a horse.
I mean, that a horse is a majestic creature. A horse with a saddle, an even more majestic creature. A horse with a saddle, and look, the rope is just floating. Well, what can I say, Snake? I'm a majestic creature. Don't... <laughs> don't no, shoot the horse. No, I don't horse. want to shoot you and lose five reputation with the horse faction and just lose all the ability. We're going to end this game with such low faction rep with the Hawaiians and the equestrians that we can't actually run anymore. We can only walk. Uh, oh, mother no. No, fucker. No. Mother fucker. This is bullshit. This is a horse not... shit. I am not getting entangled in this. Yeah, but that's where we're supposed to go. No, I'm going to say I'm going to take the L on this one. We're going to fail this event. Seems these guys are having some problems. They have a lot of problems. That Stop hammering that fence. It's on fire. What is he hammering it with? With his hand? That... Oh. Oh. Who? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry about your problems, but we just met. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I get that there's a fire. We can... Brother Hoss. I mean, I guess there's some more things to do here. Is that fence on fire? <laughs> do you feel a little bit warm? That's not good. All right, you're offloading on me here. Don't you just fucking hate it when you get to the equestrian center and they're like, uh, fucking war pigs, quests. Look, buddy, I just want to ride a horse. Did the song just abruptly stop? Yeah, it's done. Oh boy, getting a horse was never going to be easy, was it? It really does highlight that horse is glowing. That horse is literally That's glowing. That's angelic. That horse is for you, Snake. It, it is like, I've waited you for you my whole life, Kai. And now I am your angelic glowing horse. Oh my god, that is that person glowing, Snake. That person has waited here for you his entire Never life. Never horse, we're gonna sit on their shoulders and ride them. Well, the horse doesn't seem to mind that his stable is on fire. Alright. I, if we want a horse, I think we're gonna have to do this shit. I mean, let's talk to you as well. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Snake. I'm okay with doing some horse-based quests. Yeah, true. Um. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about whether to be rude and say no. Who are you? But that <laughs> guy is polite. He's a polite guy. Snake. The only reason why I never, never finished the first Red Dead Redemption is because I hated how the horses m moved. <laughs> I think we've been over this. I can't wait to see if the horses in this are any better. We have been over this in a previous part, but it's still, I, I, it's something I it's think about. It's still relevant to discussion. It's something I think about. It's like that first fucking mission where you have to ride a horse and shoot rabbits or something. And I was like... I fucking hate this, dude. <laughs> You've just decided the story is not worth this horse riding. If we can just cull the horses from this. No video game story. Is it worth it riding a horse snake? You know, it seems dismissive of a whole medium. Not unfairly, but you know, let's just, you know, put that out in the open. There's no horse riding in Disco Elysium. In, the, in, in, in Shadow of Colossus, when you're riding that stupid horse who has a mind of his own, and then he fucking dies. Top 10 gaming moments, not gonna <laughs> top lie. Top 10 sad is... <laughs> most people that are listening top 10 sad is, oh no, my horse died, but you're just watching, just saying, good. <laughs> good, fall faster, hit the ground harder, you fucking horse fuck. Then the main character also dies? I mean, what more can you expect, Snake? Pretty top tier gaming. The main character should have died with his horse falling on him, also dying. Oh, it would have been great if they both died at the same time. <laughs> so we're gonna get dislikes on this video just for <laughs> speaking the truth. 
<laughs> I've never gonna, felt Who's gonna be proper. so mad that are like, I can't believe, I can't believe Noonan said that he wants the horse <laughs> in Shadow of Colossus to die. You'd be That's surprised. Just... There are I mean, people yeah. who probably to this day are just rattled by the death of that horse. Whereas, as I was saying, I've never felt sympathy for a horse. Fuck them. They're horrible <laughs> creatures and I hate them. I can't <laughs> wait until we get one in this game. Have you seen that? Uh, it's one of those fucked up, like, uh, like, morph uh, comics where, like, a dude is, like, just r sitting around and then turns graphically into an a another animal. And I'm talking, and it was, it's, it's, it's some weird fetish shit. And this one was specifically about this person turning into a horse. And it, like, went through every step of it. Like, his bones hurting, his, like, his face malforming into a horse's skull. And how all, how painful it is. And the last thing that happens is that his brain turns smaller. So he doesn't even realize that he's went from human to a horse. And this is a fetish thing. I'm Just, pretty sure it was mm, a fetish bones thing. Hurting. Bones hurting. Bones hurting. The way it was drawn, the way that, like, the amount of glee that the author and the artist had for the fact that this was happening to this horse. Because it was literally, the comic was entirely about a guy standing around and then morphing, like, very painfully and slowly into a horse. And it was at least 10 pages. What else can it be than a fetish thing? Yeah, I, I mean, I can't claim to understand the fetish folk, but don't you want, like, a little more story set up? You know, just this guy, his is, is feelings on turning into a horse, his life before that. You have some kind of dramatic irony to it, or some tragedy, you know, like... I don't know, he used to have a girlfriend, and then she got really into My Little Pony and became an equestrian and was in Italy, and he lost her because of that. And she just think, why did she leave me for those horses? And then he becomes a horse. I don't you know, know. I, think, I think it was just... get your rocks I think off, and why you have I, something to think about. I think why it worked was just because it was just blatant, horrifying. Like, there's no explanation, it's just a dude who turns into a horse. <laughs> just suddenly, life upended. I'm a horse now. Whereas I'm just asking for a little bit more from these people. I'm sorry, Snake. The... I'm don't sorry. worry, I'm not really. I don't actually care that much. The wor the, I'm sorry that the, the this is the world we live in and porn... No one cares about plot and porn anymore, Snake. <laughs> they feel like, you see, where's get the, the angry articles stuff? about that? In this none. age of amateur porn, I'm tired. I want professional porn with bad plots. Well, I can't wear that helmet, but I can collect it. It's a collectible? 